welcome back to Truly Force Free's Trainer Quick Tip. Today's Trainer Quick Tip is um, going to give you some options and ideas on how to keep your dog entertained um, or teach them some independence or confidence by having them do some independent exercises. So this is set up for actually a dog who I've been working with for a couple years who has separation anxiety. He was a Velcro dog to mom never would play with a toy. Um, and now a couple years later, he plays with lots of toys. So he's gonna be coming over and playing in the yard. And so I set it up almost like you would for a preschooler or a kindergartner to keep them entertained. Not only will these things teach him a little independence because he's working away from his mom and from me, but it also um, is kind of fun and it can teach them problem solving and it can build their confidence. So this is a great thing you can do in your backyard or your living room or a little patio, even if you just have a balcony. Um, so obviously you will adjust it to the size of space that you have, but let me just show you a little bit of what I've done um, to pre prepare for Roger. So this is, um, there's an agility tunnel. You could use a kid tunnel, or you could use um, a box that's like a refrigerator box. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. So there's some treats hidden in there. There's also treats scattered all throughout the grass and on the patio so he can search for treats. Um, you can see this is a Bosu ball. So there's, it moves and there's some treats there to encourage him to try to get on it. Um, underneath each of these cones is a treat. So it's hidden in the bucket. Um, there's some treats, so he's never used that before. So we'll see if he is afraid of it, but he can walk in and might wiggle a little bit, but he can get that. Um, today, the pool has a little bit of water and some treats in it. He normally gets into the pool without water, so I don't know if he'll get in today because there is a little water in there, but we're trying to kind of push him a little bit, try to have him explore some more things. Um, this towel I wanted to show you. So I have already sprinkled a whole bunch of treats on this towel, but what I'm going to do now, I just left it here so I could show you, is I'm going to just twist it like this. And so now those treats are harder for him to find. So when he comes, he'll have to dig a little bit. You can also put it in a box. I have this crate here that I have done the same thing. There are treats in this, underneath this towel and they're all twisted up. Um, because this crate's kind of high and Roger's small, I'm putting it on its side. But if he was a big dog, I might um, have a box that I have upright. So he has to, actually has to get in and rough it around. You can also use a uh, cardboard box and put newspaper in it. Um, so they have to dig through the newspaper. You will also see um, there's a couple of hidden things. So I have a hidden Kong here that's stuffed. So when he's searching, he this isn't too hard for him to find because he's not really good at looking for things that are more difficult. But if you've been doing do this for a while with your dog, you could hide them like Easter eggs. So when you do this kind of hunt, um, you start almost like you were doing an Easter egg hunt for a small child, like a three or four year old, and gradually increase it to where you're doing it for like a teenager and, and you can really hide it in bushes. That makes your dog search. You can also have treats through um, hidden. Um, I have treats scattered, but you can hide treats like little biscuits or things that they really like. So this can keep your dog entertained for potentially hours, depending on how much you put out and how much you hide. I also have, you know, different kinds of um, puzzle toys that are sitting here um, throughout the patio too. So this is just one example, but I have some of the puzzle toys hidden. So he's got a lot of things to do to keep his mind occupied. When I first started working with Roger, he couldn't even um, eat out of a Kong. He was too afraid to eat out any toys. Now he um, has mastered a lot of these things, but I've upped it a little bit. So I put some water in the pool. Um, I added the bucket and I added the Bosu ball. So to make it a little more challenging to see if he's willing to be a little more brave. So this is um, just something you can do and just adapt it to your house. So your yard, your house, your living room, your bedroom, um, your studio, whatever you need, but you can hide it and have your dog work for maybe their kibble. There's treats out here for Roger, but you could do this with their kibble too and make them work for it. It gives them fun, confidence. There's so many benefits to having them do this search and this, it's almost like an easy nose work or some's more difficult. So 
I hope that this trainer quick tip helps. And so you get an idea of some ways to keep your dog entertained when maybe you can't do um, physical things with them because this will work their brain and their body. And it's a great exercise. A lot of times they'll be pretty tired after doing this kind of search work. So I hope this helps and we'll see you next time.